I'm going to tell you how to stamp concrete. You can stamp uh, any concrete, whether it be indoors, driveways, front porches, swimming pool decks. So if you uh, were interested in uh, doing something with your concrete, I'll show up with some sample boards to get an idea of what you want to do because there's, there's many things we do from, from hand travelable overlays, tiles, stamps, acrylic lace knockdown, uh, metallics epoxy, uh, epoxy rock. There's all different kinds of things that can be done and it's just going to depend on the color, design, and uh, the amount of money you want to spend. But uh, you can just give us a call and we'll get a measurement and see what, see what you're uh, leaning towards and get you a price on that. You just always want to properly prepare the concrete, um, whether it be uh, you know grinding it with the diamond blade, acids washing it and neutralizing it, or shot blasting it, but you want to profile that concrete, clean it up, pressure wash it out, just clean that concrete and make sure that it's ready to take some concrete to adhere to it. And uh, once it's prepared, then you're going to, um, on most stamps, you're going you're gonna to lay out a polymer modified stampable concrete and you're going to gauge rake it out a quarter of an inch. Now as far as the stamps go, you can buy stamps, rent stamps from a lot of concrete rental places, um, you know, however you're going to get your stamp, usually they come on this uh, thick plastic and uh, there's a design like like a lot of the designs are actually molded out of real slate or ashlar slate uh, there's just many varieties of stamps you can do flagstone stones uh, you name it fan brick all of it so uh, it's all the same idea you want a quarter inch unless it states otherwise and uh, then you just uh, simply put some liquid release it's called bubblegum liquid release so that the stamp doesn't stick to the concrete and then you'll so you'll do a nice coverage of the of the release on it put your stamp over the concrete and then stamp that impression in um, now there's another way of uh, making it a little easier or more cost effective to stamp and you can use a trowel so instead of actually stamping it with an Italian slate stamp, which is going to use more material, be more costly, you can get the texture uh, of a slate from your trowel. And that's going to take a little practice, a little trial and error, but what you can do is uh, get your texture, and then I always do a light sand on it, and it makes it look like a slate or rock. And then you'll stain, stain everything with a, with a stain that you buy, or you can make your own uh, uh, stain out of oxides and, and alcohol water and uh, polymer is what I use and then I seal everything that I do with a concrete sealer, an epoxy, a urethane, it just depends on where you're going to be stamping at. With this stamp it, it actually is a, it's a flagstone or a rock design, there's many different kinds you can do and what that does is not only gives you the look of a flagstone and the texture but it, it puts your grout lines in for you and so uh, you can get the rock look or a flagstone look or a riverbed rock look all different kinds of things uh, with these stamps many possibilities and it's real important on your staining if you're staining it properly and pick the right color you can actually make it uh, very realistic looking